Hello everybody. One of the most requested question is how to set up a relation inside Fire Admin. So how to set up this relation field. Let's start by an example. So this is an event. Uh, and one of the fields that it has is type. So of what type of type of music will be displayed, will be performed on this event. So we can have rock, techno, uh, metal, I don't know, jazz, hip hop, and by default is a text field. But what we want to do is just to have a, a drop down list of values, and we can do that with the uh, the field radio checkbox or drop downs. But these three fields define a, a static list of values. And what we want to do is to have those values in Firebase. So here are my genres of music. So we have rock, dance, jazz, and techno. So what I want to do is display these rock, dance, jazz, and techno values inside a drop down. And when we have a new item there, that to be displayed directly in the drop down. Okay, so let's start. So in events, we have a type. And I will need to copy this value to use as a key. So inside relation, I will put my key. And here you will see that for option for relation, it comes with games with two examples. So I will copy the Firebase one. And for key, I will use type. What to display? As you can read in our documentation here, display what key to put in the name of the select element so what value to show in the drop down what uh, what will be the string there so we want to display sorry we want to display rock dance jazz and techno and these they live in the name field so we'll copy that field and i will use it name we have we have set up the key what is the path? The path is the data, the path to the data we want to display. And it's really easy to get. So we want to display the items here, this one. Okay. And I will copy the path. Okay. The path is this one. Okay. What is is value path? So when I select a drop down, when I select a relation, maybe I want to the value there to be the link directly to static generous items the zero element or the first element or i want to display a rock dance jazz techno in this case i want to display the value selected so i will say is value path to false if i set true then the value saved in the type field will be something like this static generous items zero or one and for some cases that that is needed but for this example we will need as false okay and what is the value to be saved there it's the display value so we will just save the name okay so for now this is enough let's save it and see how it works for example i will save this to false for now Okay, and I will go in the fire admin. There is an event. There is an error here. We're missing this. And when it refreshes, false. It's not okay. False. And when it refreshes, we should have a drop down of that field. Okay, yeah. Type rock, then jazz. So I will select jazz. And that's it. This is saved as just when I refresh it, it should be just once again. Okay, so this, these are more like advanced fields. And in some cases, when you do a search query on Firebase, you want to have a different uh, value there, a different field inside your database that you will use just for querying your data. This was in fact our need for one of the apps we did. This is the the news app we did and we need to order query order the the data and then get the sort the files sort the fields and get a field from that separate category so what we did is 
should we produce a relationship key? And this could be false or true. Okay, if we see the reference now of this element ending on 348, let's see in elements, in events. This is in Scopia. Okay, so this is the JS one. Okay, and if we set produce relationship key to true, okay, this will produce when we select a new value, it will produce, will update that value. A relationship joiner is how it will join the values of the type of the key of the of the element of the event and the uh, value of the of the path that we want to display so this is just uh, one field relationship key what will be the name of the new field so this is in fact type event id okay and if we save it and when we refresh and now when I update to, for example, dance, we will say that the new, new field is created, type event ID. And if you see, this field is not displayed here, so that's okay because we don't need to manu modify manually. And this field, in fact, is useful for querying your database, searching for it, and stuff like that. This really depends on your business case. So this is not a required, but it's... Uh, good probably will need it if you do a query or searching on your database uh, this is better because our database here is stored by cities Belgrade Skopje but in our one of our database for example let's see it Swift News app all the articles are in one and we had to have category post ID to do a better search and querying and just returning posts from that category. So this part is optional but really helpful if you have that business case. In general you will have to modify this one for sure and this one if you have that rule. So probably will you learn how to create relationship in Firebase. Uh, I must say that this is a mimic function and a relationship are not supported in Firebase but with, with this we do that and in Firestore they are supported directly by Google Firestore and we, you have a separate video for this for now you learn how to create Firebase references thanks for watching